With Canva's new text-to-image AI, it's true, you can really have Bob Marley eating pizza. You know, ChatGPT is all a rage right now, and I don't blame it, it's an awesome tool. But if there's one tool that's been flying underneath the radar, and it's pretty awesome itself, it's Canva's new AI technology. Now, I have a video I did previously where I talked about their new AI text-to-image technology. Today, I want to dive in a little bit further and really show you the true capabilities of what it can do. So I'm here on the homepage, and the first thing you're going to do, just to make it nice and simple, is just open up a doc. Once you're here on the blank slate of a Canva doc, on your left-hand side in the menu towards the bottom, you're going to see what's called text to image. Click that button, and now this is where the magic happens. Now as you look down, you have something called choose your style. You have multiple options of different formats of art creation. You have concept art, photo, painting, drawing, 3D, and pattern. I'll go all the way to the first one and choose concept art. Now watch this. We're going to create Bob Marley eating pizza. Once you have your text selected, hit enter, watch the stars align, and watch the magic happen. And there you have it. Four images to choose from of Bob Marley eating pizza. That's pretty remarkable. I'll hit start again, and I'll do Bob Marley eating pizza again, but this time let's make it a photo. You see how cool that is? Look at that. It generated an image of Bob Marley eating pizza. And then if you want this image, just click it, and the Canva automatically brings it into your documents on the right-hand side. Okay? Let's have a little bit more fun. Watch this. Let's change Bob Marley, and let's just do uh, Drake. Drake eating pizza. That's pretty good, too. I, I mean, I think it looks like Drake. It's not bad. It's not bad. So let's give it some more. Let's do, let's do start again, and let's do the same thing. Let's do Drake eating pizza with concept art this time. I kind of like the concept art. All right, let's do one more thing. Let's try 3D. 3D, a toucan in a tropical rainforest. Waiting for the stars, the stars, the, the anticipation's building, it's building, it's building, I'm waiting. Nice, nice, that's a beautiful looking bird. Let's do start again. Let me do concept art of the same thing. A toucan in a tropical rainforest. Let's see what it comes up with. Concept art, I like it. Now I want to show you something really cool. This is where the productivity comes into play. So what I mean, literally, when you're on the Canva Docs page, you never have to leave it. You can have everything combined into one nice workflow. Watch this. And let's make believe we're creating a research paper about UFOs. So let's say the title of my paper is, Are UFOs Real? Type that in, Are UFOs Real? I'll hit enter. You don't even have to go to the left-hand side, text to image, you can, but I'll show you two different options. So I need a photo of a UFO in outer space. There we go, nice. A UFO in outer space. Let's say I like this one in the bottom right-hand corner. I click it and it's automatically added. This photo is boom. It's now in my paper. So I can scroll down and my cursor is blinking and I'll make a subheading. So check this out. So now I'll hit the plus button again. So now this time, instead of going to the left-hand side, the text to image underneath magic. So don't forget you have magic right and you also have just this magic tool with the magnifying glass. So I'm going to ask the same thing, a UFO in outer space. Now, from here, I can also choose graphics, photos, videos. Let's go ahead and do graphic and see what it comes up with. Okay, nice. Say I choose that one. That's awesome. Same thing. Hit the plus button again. Magic. And this time, I'm going to ask for a video. There's a video. Okay, so now I have my topic, are UFOs real? So just to sum it up really quickly, now we'll use magic, right? I'll come to magic, right? And I'm going to ask it to write me an article about UFOs being real. And that was fast. Are UFOs real? It's a question that has been debated for decades, and one that continues to spark curiosity and controversy. In recent years, there has been an increasing number of UFO sightings reported, which has prompted an increased interest in the topic. In this article, we'll explore the history of UFOs, discuss theories about their origin, blah blah blah. It wrote a pretty decent article about UFOs being real or not. Now, that might not be my cup of tea or yours, but for Canva's example's sake, I just wanted to show you guys the real magic of Canva's AI technology. So you tell me, have you tried this yet? Are you going to? And what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And again, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Never stop dreaming.